Hey guys, Rock and Robo back with the Z League, and this time it's once again San Santana, this time against Atomic Crusher. So, Santana picked up the victories in the first match against. Um, against. I'm sorry, I've forgotten his name now. Shout, shout. Whoever it was in the first one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll remember after this. Uh, can he keep it up against AC? So. Crusher said to him, already said, he's doing this more to play some of his um, his idol of the Hero Coliseum and just have some fun and learn, so... I'm interested to see how he does, though, and this deck looks incredibly nasty from uh, Santana. Double Jiren, Gogeta. That was well played. The Fuse going to take down the uh, Blue Vegeta. Yeah, Santana played that very, very well. Because that was pretty much the best move that um, AC had going for him. So, no, got to give him, uh, got to give him props for that. I can't see this being anything other than a two nil to Santana. Uh, no offense to AC; he's a good player, and if he can sort of. Uh, Level up a bit more, because, yeah, he is... He's the hes the baby of the group in terms of level. But, you know... Credit to him for wanting to compete and have some fun and uh, just play against these top guys. So... It's a learning experience. I think that's what you're seeing it as. Just uh, a chance to play some top people and uh, learn. So... I wasn't going to uh, refuse him access... So yeah, Piccolo died and Vegeta will die here, so a painful first turn for AC, as he won't even get a kill on few in response. And Vados always gets the counterattack. That figure always gets the counterattack. I don't <laughs> I don't know why, she just always seems to. And just slap the shit out of Few a bit. So, this doesn't leave um, AC with many options going into his second turn. The risk of um, having figures that uh, trigger on certain places, I guess. So, Santana was expecting him to double up down the middle. Interesting. I, I knew he, w he wasn't going to reveal his um, Big Bang Vegeta. I was almost certain of that. No, he could. It could have been an interesting play if he just put the Big Bang Vegeta down in the bottom right there, because he'd have gone first. Because he's got O one skills on him, so he'd have got the kill on the Gogeta. He'd have taken massive damage to his master though. So swings and roundabouts, I guess. Well, Bardock's dead this turn. Vados, probably not. I don't think this Gogeta's going to have the strength to take her out, is he? Not quite. Yes, he is, because he gets a counter-attack. <laughs> uh, when your luck's not in, it's not in. And uh, AC definitely needs it. This, I think um, Tempest is the other one who's sort of lower-leveled and uh, wants to do this for just a bit of fun more than anything. But just wanted to... Uh, have a chance to play some of the top people. And I can't blame him. I'd be the same. I'd say that's why I let him in. They've been loyal uh, subscribers and they are decent players. And hey, he's got the kill on that um, on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. you got to take the little victories. Hmm, what do you do this turn, Assassin? I would leave Vegeta where you are. He didn't. Also, fun fact there, Santana would have just outsmarted me. <laughs> I honestly didn't uh, expect Santana to go down there with his Jiren. Well, it means both Masters are going to take an absolute hammering now. I think Santana wanted to have a little one-on-one -on -one showdown there between those two. 
because uh, he could have easily won it by just uh, throwing one across the board with both his uh, Jirens and the Videl. God damn, Jiren, you hit like a goddamn truck, don't you? Big Bang Vegeta should do uh, quite a bit of damage, though. He was the original I one skill user. Similar numbers. Similar numbers, indeed. And I don't think he, he was only level 60, so... Credit. Credit to AC. I like his deck. To be fair, it's... It's not far off a standard um, sort of regular deck at this point, is it? Ah, the respectful bows between the two. You gotta give him that. Okay, GG guys. So that's uh, Santana taking the first victory against AC. So... Santana racking the points up early in this um, in this league because he's uh, these are the first two games that have been recorded. Like Santana has just been on it, but he is really determined to win this. GG guys, GG. Hundred uh, hundred percent to both for effort and like I say, AC could become a big player in the future. Right, I will now cut into game two. Hey guys, we are back with the second um, battle. I almost did my regular intro there. <laughs> Even though this is the second part of the same episode. Right, so Santana this time, he's pulling out the future trunks. That's He does actually like the future trunks. It's a very good figure. I think I actually played this deck that AC's using. I played against him when he used this, I remember. Can't remember what deck I was using, but I got very annoyed, so I, <laughs> I can't remember what I was using. The health Bardock, that's interesting. You don't see people um, run that version of Bardock very often. And the health Gogeta, okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I think it's very hard to get the health versions of these figures to work. That's the problem, because things have such high attack now that they can usually just blow you away even if you have high health. And they need a few turns to sort of get up to strength. Just hit any number, AC. It doesn't matter. <laughs> So AC's going to get a little bit of damage down this turn with uh, Rosé and Videl down the middle. And uh, shouldn't take too much in return. Thanks to his Vados. He's got <laughs> Santana's just got the health versions of all of these figures, hasn't he? Apart from the trunks. That's what he's running with. I actually quite like the health version of um, Blue Vegito. I think it's a, uh, a solid figure. Especially if you can get him below 50% health, because uh, that passive is pretty damn nasty, hitting against, um, sort of ignoring their defences. So, I think uh, AC really did need uh, him to put Gogeta down the middle there and hit his Rosé just to buff him up a little bit more. That's the inferior version of Rosé, in my opinion. I prefer the other one just because it's got more health, so there's more scope for uh, buffing up. How much damage are you going to do, Bardock? Bardock still hits for 2782, which is pretty damn good when you look at his starting attack. I know it's only a Vados. <laughs> and it's not like um, there's a Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Gogeta down there as well to help debuff him, but still. I think that's pretty impressive damage. Oh, going one across the board. So Vados, this is clever because uh, uh, they both went basically the same thing. Interesting. I thought that maybe he would, um, the AC would put something behind his Vados to um, take out what was in front, which I think Santana was predicting, which is why Vegito went over there. 
This is fine for uh, Santana because he wants to go second, of course. Well, Vados is dead. There's a good chance Videl is dead. And I don't think he's going to get the, uh, the Vados in return, is he? Nope. Even with the counter turn, that's a shame. Oh god, I just realised that that's the tank version of Adele. It's not even the, uh, the speedy version. That explains why his speed is so slow. Or low, sorry. Oh, Vados, she didn't get a counter attack. You're always supposed to. That's like uh, that's like your thing. Besides being a complete bitch and ruining the game, uh, you're the counter attacker. Okay, and that one didn't counterattack either, so they've both proved me wrong. This should be a dead Vados. Yeah. And I... Th this Videl has a lot of defense. Is there, is there a chance she can live? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Oh, man, AC, you, you've... Um, that's, some, that's some rotten luck right there. He uh, he could have done with the um, the Vidal not dying there. Santander's very insistent on his one across the board philosophy in this game. But I think it's because he knows his one across the board can tank whatever he puts down. Then again, Vegeta could uh, do a number on Bardock here. Although Rosé is dead. Rosé is dead. Um, the Gogetas won't kill each other, but... There's just not much to, um, to say on it. They're, playing, they're actually playing really well, both of them. I, mean, I, I expect they have Sansana, but... Um, AC is really keeping his cool in these games. So he's playing as, uh, as well as he can, and uh, fair credit to him. With how uh, sort of lower level he is. Counter attack. Nice. Okay, this keeps things a little bit more interesting. Nice. Well done. I, I wanted to see that. I don't want. To, I don't want to seem biased towards anybody, but I, I don't want to sort of have a one-sided thing. And I'd like to see uh, sort of some of the guys like uh, AC take a. Take a game or two off some of the bigger names. Oh, that's gutting. Because Vegeta's is dead. That's a real shame. That is a real, real shame. Because uh, if he'd have killed Bardock there. It wouldn't have mattered because he got a counter-attack on the Gogeta here and killed him, so yeah. <laughs> Still, it would have been Rosé and Vegeta versus Trunks, Gogeta and Vados. It would have been a nice little showdown, but Vegeta's dead here. Yep. That's gutting. RNG just didn't give him quite a high enough roll to get the counter there. Or not to get the counter, to get enough damage even with the counter. And I'm guessing Future Trunks is sitting there with 01 skills. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bardock's frozen in place, so... Getting a little confident here, Santana, aren't you? You do outspeed. And he's got the 300, so he's going first. I'm just wondering if Vados will do enough. I know she's got an okay attack stat. Oh, no, it's a speed version, isn't it? So, yeah, she should she should have enough here to put it. Uh, Rosé to bed. There's a treat. You get to see uh, Vados is one, and yeah. GG to uh, AC. He put up a good fight in both of them.
Like I say, he's under-leveled, so it was just a case of he wanted to play some of the big players, and it's been such a loss subscriber to me, I thought uh, he'd earned the right to, so... But, no, right, GG. That was the second match. Santana was pushing himself even further ahead. Um, stay tuned for the next episode of the uh, Z-League. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.